All right, time to give the Oakland Athletics a little bit of love. They have been playing much better as of late. In fact, their seven-game winning streak came to an end on Wednesday against Tyler Glasnow and the Tampa Bay Rays. But I tell you what, they've put together a nice little run here. Ryan Noda joining me now from the ballpark. Ryan, thanks for taking a few minutes to be with us. Before I get into how well you've been playing and really how well the team has been playing collectively, did you guys get mad at Kevin Smith for breaking Thor's hammer uh, during the home run ceremony? <laughs> Ceremony. Well, don't ever give that thing back to him. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened on that one. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I think he had a good workout uh, before the game that day. So uh, the Thor hammer didn't have any chance. Um, but, yeah, we have we have repaired. Um, and uh, hopefully no one else uh, breaks it. But uh, All right. <laughs> that was Ho a funny time. Hopefully you have a lot more to celebrate, Ryan. You guys have been playing well. Um, obviously, it came to an end yesterday, but you rattled off seven straight wins prior to the loss against the Rays on uh, Wednesday. What has worked for you well in that time? It seems like you guys have a little bit of positive traction going. Yeah, you know, we're just playing for each other. And, uh, you know, I think we finally found, you know, things that uh, make everyone tick and uh, get everyone going. And uh, we've just been playing for each other. You know, get the next man up is what we say, uh, you know, in the box. And uh, our pitcher's been doing a great job of, you know, getting ahead, you know, getting them first out of the inning. Um, and, you know, we had a couple stellar plays on defense the past couple weeks. You know, Jace made a few. And it just goes down the line. But uh, I think just playing for each other and, you know, picking each other up, is, it's been huge lately. Yeah, you guys uh, have to do that. You know, you have a, a season that's been a struggle. I mean, it's, there's no uh, secret in that. And you and you said it a couple times, playing for each other. What have the conversations been like? Obviously, it's an uphill battle. Even if a team goes 162-0, and 0, the baseball season is such a grind. When you have to claw for every single win, I would imagine, imagine it's a harder grind. What are the conversations like? You know, it's just positive. You always got to stay positive, you know. Um, I like to say just get 1% better every day and uh, just learn from everything we did the day before um, that we needed to fix. And uh, I think we've been doing that and leaning on each other. And, you know, when someone needs a little, you know, pick me up, you know, we go up to them and pick them up. And I think it's been happening a lot lately and it's been good. And we just got to keep that going and just, you know, like I said before, just keep playing for each other and, you know, try to win every game. All right, we're coming up on the College World Series. We're also coming up on the Major League Baseball draft. It was six years ago yesterday, Ryan, that you were drafted in the 15th round by the Toronto Blue Jays. I don't know if it, you remember that date, but it was six years ago. What do you remember about that moment? <laughs> I remember I was uh, actually at my little sister's softball game in uh, <laughs> Rosemont, Illinois. Uh, I was watching her, watching her rake. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it was pretty early in the morning as well. But uh, it was a special time. <laughs> All right, so that was in 2017. And then you end up getting traded to the Dodgers in 2021. And that's actually where I remember you, uh, you know, coming up in the Dodgers system. Um, and you had some really good couple of minor league seasons with them. And then you end up, uh, you know, with the Oakland Athletics. So tell me a little bit more about uh, just your path. You're a college kid, then went the minor league route, obviously, as you have to do. And, and, and here you are uh, having a nice debut year with the Athletics. Yeah, you know, uh, drafted in 17 uh, to the Blue Jays. And, uh, you know, never thought I'd be uh, playing for a team out of uh, Canada. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, with the Blue Jays for a few years. Um, and then, like you said, traded uh, beginning at 21. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for every stop I've made um, from the Blue Jays to the Dodgers and now here because uh, everything has prepared me to, you know, compete at the highest level. And um, I've learned a lot. And I, you know, give a lot of gratitude toward a lot of the coaches and staff that I've had along the way. So uh, I'm just thankful to be here in this situation with all the guys here and, uh, you know, getting the opportunity to play in the show. All right. So what have you learned from manager Mark Kotze? You say that you pick up stuff along the way from all of your coaches. What have you learned from him? And does he brag about how good he was in the College World Series for Cal State Fullerton? <laughs> No, nah, he doesn't brag. He doesn't brag about his uh, college days uh, too much, at least. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, nothing, you know, uh, 
just uh, doing the little things. Uh, Kotz always talks about doing the little things and, you know, picking each other up. And, you know, I think, you know, slowly I've been learning how to do that a little bit more um, with everybody and everybody does the same for me. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, I think for us the small things will win us a lot more games than the, you know, the big things like the homers and, you know, the bases clear and stuff. So uh, that's one thing that he always preaches on, and I think we're getting a lot better at that, and we just got to continue to build off that. All right, so get back to basics, get back to the fundamentals. What was it like playing in front of that great crowd that you had a couple of days ago? Obviously, the fans in Oakland have a lot to say about you guys staying there. What was that atmosphere like, and how much are you guys paying attention to everything that's going on outside of the ball club and, and whether or not you guys are going to be there next year? Yeah, you know, we're just sticking to everything on the field. You know, that the other day on Tuesday it was awesome. You know, stadium was packed. You know, you couldn't really hear. I was trying to get a hold of the Jace at second a couple times and I had to, you know, walk towards him a little bit and, uh, you know, finally was able to hear me. But it was electric, and uh, we would love that more. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we just focus on, you know, trying to get everything done on the field and, you know, trying to win every game and control what we can control. Uh, we can't control what happens, you know, if we move, if we don't. You know, we love the fans. You know, that's who we play it for. And uh, we're just going to continue to grind. And whatever happens off the field happens off the field. All right. We appreciate your time, Ryan. Great job so far this year. It's great to see you in the show. I know it's been a, a dream realized for you. A long time coming. Uh, best of luck for you and your teammates the rest of the way. Keep playing for one another. Thank you. Appreciate it.